A little over a month ago, I hurt my wrist and it's not how you would think. I officially got the dumbest gym injury anybody could ever get and I'll tell you about it in a minute. My name is Jackson Kroll and my mission is to bring a relationship with the Lord back to self-improvement. All of these online gurus tell you to rely fully on yourself and that you are the only one that you can count on, but that is not the case. Relying 100% on yourself means not relying on God at all. You think that you can make everything happen by yourself, but the truth is no matter how hard you try, there will always be things that are out of your control. Pridefulness is the opposite of godliness. The more that you say that you accomplished that thing, that it was all you, instead of giving God the glory for it, because God is the only reason that you exist in the first place, the more that you say that you did that thing without God, the more prideful you get. But if you start to give the Lord the glory for all your accomplishments, and that is relying more on the Lord for your success, and you'll be blessed for that. Now for my dumb gym injury. So about a month and a half ago, I sprained my wrist and it wasn't playing piano and it wasn't while I was working out. I was spotting my friend on bench press. I was spotting him. I wasn't even bench pressing myself. So, you know, he was doing the set and I was getting ready to get the bar up from him if he failed the set. But I thought he had a lot of reps. So then I started talking to somebody to the right of me. And then all of a sudden I hear from below me, Jackson, help. So then I reach down to get the bar and you're supposed to do it like this with your hands like this, palms down, grab the bar like this. But instead of doing that, I grabbed it like this with the palms up and you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to spot like that. So I start pulling up the weight and then I, I feel a pull in my wrist. That was three weeks ago and it's still not healed up yet. I have to ice it a few times a day and I have to wear a brace and all that and I'm slowly, slowly letting it heal up. Now you may be wondering why I am telling you all of this. I left out a certain part of the story on purpose. And this is the most important part that ties everything together. The night before, the night before I hurt my wrist, I prayed to the Lord and I asked him to humble me. I prayed to the Lord the night before that he would humble me. And what is the best way to humble me? Well, take away the two biggest things that I do in my life, the two biggest things I find success in, lifting weights and playing piano. So the Lord may have let that happen. The Lord may have let my wrist get hurt just so he could humble me and suppress my ego. I don't believe that this was just a coincidence. I think that the Lord is trying to tell me something here. And the way that he did that was to hurt my wrist and to tell me that I can't do it alone. That I need to start basing my identity and the Lord and not being the strong ripped guy in school or the guy that can play piano really well. Proverbs 8.13 says the fear of the Lord is the hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance and the way of the evil and perverted speech I hate. From that verse, we know that pride is the exact opposite of the fear of the Lord. They're exact opposites. You can't serve the Lord if you're so, so fulfilled by yourself. You can't serve the Lord that way. Everything comes from the Lord. Your ability to have pride in the first place comes from the Lord. Because if God didn't make you, you couldn't have pride. So who in their right mind would say that they accomplish it alone for themselves. You need to say that you accomplish it with the Lord and for the Lord. Because I always say this in all of my videos, the Lord is the only purpose that truly lasts forever. Everything else just fades away. It's so clear in the Bible, it's so clear that the Lord hates pride. Literally right now, go on Google. Go on Google right now and just look up verses about the Lord hating pride or the Lord hating living for yourself. And you will find lists. You will literally find lists of verses about how the Lord hates pride. The Lord hates it because we can't serve the Lord when we're living in our pride. So I encourage you to pray to the Lord right now, pause the video and tell him 
to humble you. Ask the Lord to humble you. That's what he did to me. He took away music and lifting weights from me. And has the humbling worked? It definitely has. <laughs> now your fleshly brain isn't going to want to do it. Your fleshly brain is going to want to hold on to all those things that you are successful in. Even though, again, you didn't do it. It was the, from the Lord in the first place. Ask the Lord to humble you. You're not going to want to do it, but you need to do it to serve the Lord. Because serving the Lord lasts forever and lifting weights and music won't. You have to do this. So what has come from this wrist injury and my humbling? Well, firstly, I have a great testimony to tell the other people about this. Think about this. What if the only reason that the Lord allowed my wrist to get injured is so I could make a YouTube video about it and people could hear about this? If one person gets something from this and the Lord wanted that one person to hear this about my wrist, then this was worth it. If one person comes to Christ from my wrist getting hurt and me not being able to play piano or, or lift weights for weeks and weeks and weeks, if one person comes to the Lord from this, then it was worth it. And secondly, I have been very humbled myself. After a while, I got used to hearing people say my name when they asked, oh, who's the strongest kid in the school? Who's the most ripped kid in the school? I got used to that. And I got used to people saying my name when people would ask who is really good at piano. I got used to that. My ego got used to that and my ego got inflated. So what happens when those things get taken away? What do I have left? Well, I have the Lord. I have family. I have friends. Those things weren't taken away. But the things that I have to be really prideful about, those things were taken away. And my ego has been deflated. It's so easy, especially as men, to rely on ourselves. We want to be in control of things. God made us that way. God made us so we want to make enough money for our families. And we want to provide for the people around us. That's how God made us. That's why it's even more important as men to listen to humble influences and to get humbled by the Lord and by other people. God may make something like that happen to you. God may injure you so we take something away, as I said earlier. God may take something away from you. It also doesn't help that a lot of the online influencers encourage ego. The ones that make tons of money can get everything that their earthly brains could want. They encourage ego. Now, will ego get you places? Will being prideful get you places on this earth? I would say so. On this earth, but not with the Lord. Ego won't get you anywhere with the Lord. Because if you're 100% living in your pride, you're not serving the Lord at all. If you like me and what I have to say, and you want this message to be spread to a lot more people, the easiest way to do that is to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment on the video, and just share it to your friends. Share it to somebody that you think would get some value out of this. My name is Jackson Kroll, and I'll see you in the next one. All glory to God.